Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at how to analyze uh, Lackey skills have a deep or disagreement uh, skill. Before we, we go into that, uh, there are different format that you may get your Lackey skill data, depending on platform that you are using or how you coded your Lackey skill responses. So one case is where we have the labels for the skill appearing in the data. Another one is where we have the labels appearing with the uh, points assigned to each label in the data. Another one is where the, the responses are coded, labels are coded as numeric. In this video, we are going to look at uh, where we have the labels in the data. And then uh, we'll also look at how to summarize it using a pivot table and generate a chart for that. All right, so the data we have here is just a sample survey data uh, where we ask, we, we ask respondents to rate, uh, give their responses with regards to agreeing or agreeing or disagreeing to set of statement. So we want to summarize all these statements with the Lackesco responses in a single chart and be able to compare which statement do respondents uh, strongly agree or they agree or they associate with and so on. So how do we handle this? So first you need to load your data to Power Query. So once you load it to Power Query, the next thing you need to do is uh, the next thing you need to do is to select all the the columns with the statement that you want to summarize. So once you do this, you go to transform from transform to unpivot only selected columns. Then we have it here. So this attribute column can name it. Then here, uh, the value column, uh, the lacquer scale sponsors. All right. So once we are we have this, we are done. So we go to home from home, uh, load this uh, and add it to the data model. We want to generate a pivot table in our existing sheet. So we want to add a pivot table uh, in this sheet. All right, then we have it. Uh, we want to compare the statements uh, by how many people who agrees, agree or disagree to each of the statements. So we'll pick the statement and put the, and put the statement, uh, the statement and then drop it in the row first. We'll pick the responses and drop it in the column fold. And then we want to count each statement by the, the case code responses. So we'll pick our ID and drop it in the value fold. Now, uh, by default, because the IDs are numeric, uh, pivot table summarized by sum but we want to have the responses by count. So let me clarify something. There are different ways uh, people uh, can handle a like a skill, but the, the, the most common approach depends on how you uh, kind of consider your data. So some treat multiple uh, like a skill as an ordinal data, ordinal data, others also treat it as interval data. And this will all kind of influence, uh, have an impact on how you handle your data. Uh, we wouldn't go into that uh, into that argument. To mean is that if your objective that initiated or that led to the use of the Lekker scale is to see the distribution of responses across the, uh, the, 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 the scale, then you just use proportions. That means you are treating your data uh, as an ordinal data. Uh, in the most common uh, s s summary statistics you can handle, you can apply for this are just the counts and then you take proportions or you also look at the mode. Uh, and we are looking at a proportion where we just want to look at how the responses are distributed across the scale. So here uh, we, we right click and then uh, summarize by distinct count to get the exact number of respondents who selected each uh each label uh for each statement so um we then take the percentage by row for each statement we want to see uh, how many of the respondents agree uh disagree and so on so um once we have this what we can do is that we can arrange our scale in descending order 
So we have strongly agree, agree. Then we can bring neutral. Next, we just shift it. Then we have the next thing is disagree and then strongly disagree. And then that's it. You can summarize your naked skill uh, using a pivot table. So you can insert a, a chart. Uh, yeah, probably because this each statement add up to 100, you can use a stack bar chart. Now we are choosing a horizontal stack bar chart because our statement uh, takes quite longer. So it will be more convenient to use a horizontal uh, stack bar chart. That will be able to show all the labels and you can resize your data uh, appropriately. All right. So that, so once you have this, you can just add the data labels, percentages. You can uh, format this chart, make it look very, very uh, nice. So on. So that is it. And we are done. Thank you.